Hello, people. So, I said on, I said on, on like, the video of unboxing this, I might make a, a review of the Nyko PS Vita Power Grip. So, here it is. So, it comes in a box like this, and it sells for about 30 bucks. It's supposed to, like, it adds a lot of, like, comfort when holding the, playing the Vita. And it adds a lot of battery life. I have played it for, like, because I think it charges the Vita battery when it starts to run low. Because, and I got, like, 10 hours out of my playing my Vita on one charge, and the Vita battery was still fully charged, it said. So, yeah. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, it just makes it like a controller. It has this little thing that plugs into the Vita, like, on the bottom. Which, this might wear out if you take it out a lot, because you have to kind of pull hard to, like, get the plug out of the Vita sometimes. But I usually leave it in here. I just took it off for the review. I put... It was a little wobbly when I... The first time I put my Vita in, so I added some electrical tape around here, and it's... Still a tad wobbly if I like move it, try to move it on purpose, but otherwise it stays in place because otherwise if you move this it would like wobble a little and I don't really like that. So here it says like the battery area. The it says voltage 3.7 volts, capacity 2800 milliamps. So yeah, I don't know big the Vita battery is, but, yeah, whatever, oh, here it says, oh, okay, never mind, but yeah, so to insert it, you just, there's like this little lock thing, so make sure it's set to unlock, and pull it out, and just set the Vita in, on the top first, is like, I think how you should do it, that's how I do it, and just push that in, then this little locking lever, pull it down, and there it's locked in place. So if you want to charge it, it just plugs in like the, like it has the same plug as the Vita, so you don't have to buy any extra cables or anything. There's the battery slot right here, so you just plug it in. There is a light right here that when it's charging it's red but when it's fully charged the light turns green so that's a nice feature they put on so you know when it's fully charged yeah when you're playing it it has like little finger like things on the back where you're supposed to hold it so it's more like holding like a it feels like you're holding more of an xbox controller i suppose instead of like a holding a ps3 controller this thing is actually, it has some weight to it and it feels pretty sturdy. Like if you try to break it, it'll break. But if you just like be gentle with it, it should be fine. But yeah, so you have access to like everything. Except, well, you have your power button, your left and right shoulder buttons or whatever. Like L and R, your volume buttons, all the buttons on the front the headphone jack and that's it and like you could maybe open the memory card slot but I don't know it might be tough but you don't have this is the 3G model but so it blocks off the sim card holder thing and it blocks off the game cartridge thing and if there's any more slots up here I don't even know but yeah, so taking out is pretty easy, just be careful, you don't break anything. This thing says Nyko right here, and it has like, yeah, it's, you have the cameras open and the back, whole back touch area open. This thing is like made out of plastic, but it has like a rubberized ish coating, so it feels kind of nice to hold and stuff, and it's just comfortable because 
holding it like this is way better where you have like supports here and like your thumbs are just in the right spot instead of having it like the Vita plane where you gotta like hold it all goofy and stuff and like like now I can play my Vita a long time and it stays comfortable instead of being like cause like I would get sore holding just the Vita plane cause like and it wasn't that fun to play as much because you didn't have a lot of grip on the thing and you had to like hold it funny but this makes it a lot easier like a bad thing about this though is that I guess this is the way the Vita was too is if you want to touch the front you got to like reach a little farther like you got to move your hand a little because your hands like gripped on here so you got back like, but yeah it's not too big I mean it adds a little size to it except on the bottom it adds a lot but I think for this like the size is just right like for my hands this might be a tad big but it adds a lot of comfort and I don't know why but it's like right here it's like texturized like I don't know but yeah anyway so if you have a Vita you should get this like if you don't think it's comfortable to play the Vita for a long time you should get this and or if you or if you just want extended battery life this would be a good thing to get cuz it's only 30 bucks i got it like the I, when i got my vita i was originally going to get the trigger grips for cuz i thought that might add like a little more comfort when i play it but i'm glad i got this instead cuz the trigger grips was like 18 bucks or something at gamestop but this is 30 and you get extended battery and it's bigger and it feels like really good to play so yeah i think that if you have a vita you should get one of these and yeah well i guess this review is over now i might make some other videos about this but probably not so see you later guys i guess